guys so here I'm going to give you the first impression I got from the bubble bum just as it came out of the box really I have blown it up and when you, it arrives it's deflated obviously um, it also comes with this little bag which makes it very nice and portable you can then put it in your luggage so the bubble bomb is an inflatable booster cushion approved from 15 kilos to 36 kilos and 150 centimeters tall now the uh, i haven't so far really found any cons now there's been some debate online when I've talked to some of the other car seat people that are not in the UK whether uh, there was a um, a thing with uh, NTF Sweden not liking it but um, so far I haven't actually found any through all my search if you have any feel free to give it to me because I want to read it I haven't actually found any negative um, crash tests on it or any you know like with the my fold there was a disaster so i haven't been able to find anything negative so my personal opinion based on everything i can find out about the car seat when we talk crash testing is that it's perfectly good to use i would be happy to use it with my own children if i came to it um, it is not advertised as an everyday sort of main car seat, which I think is a good thing because it isn't an everyday car seat. Um, it's perfect for emergencies, uh, taxis, um, carpooling, which is an American term, but you know... Um, uh, getting three across a lot of the time I get so many emails of people from people sorry um, who have three children and are trying to fit three in the back they can't fit a high back booster this is a perfect option for the middle seat if there's just no way you can get anything else in I would rather this be used to make sure that you get the correct belt path on the child than nothing at all and the same goes for any other uh, scenario really it is a car seat that I would definitely recommend instead of using anything at all now my children are five and almost seven um, which would be uh, it says on the box four years to 12 that's because it's approved for 15 kilos I personally think that four years old is way too young to be in a booster in the first place however if you don't have another option to use your everyday car seat um, then it is as I said far better than not using anything at all um, and this is an upgraded version by the way than the old one the old one um, had a different uh, clip a uh, belt clip on the side which was a bit more complicated than this one this one is really easy to just slide the lap belt into here um, so I really like that about it, the fact that they updated that. I think it was because of user feedback that it was updated. I'm not completely sure. Um, um, I've got it right now on my car seat rig in the house. Um, but I will show footage of it in the car as well, in use. It also has a um, shoulder clip here. Uh, I've just put it up here because it kept falling down, but it's very adjustable and easy to adjust um, Right here at the back You just pull this little strip there and uh, Make sure that you when you put your car your child sorry when you put your child on the seat make sure that you put This clip on the child's shoulder. It should just lie gently on the shoulder and then you uh, tighten it or 
release it depending on the child's height um, so that it's at the correct height and then if we look we release it here and then if we look underneath we have the manufacturer day month year the batch number and here is the instruction of how it's supposed to be and obviously the E24 and 44R04 which is the European regulation this is approved as well in America uh, I don't know if they have a different version they ship in America than this one like um, that has a different well, so we are in the car fire. and Henry and is testing out and Henry is testing out the bubble bum uh, what I have found is that because it's obviously very short here and there's a lot of room here on the actual seat which when you compare it to the booster the booster goes pretty much all the way down um, he has a lot of gap between his legs here and because he's so small he's well he's not very small he's a he's a, a large fi five-year-old um, this makes him slouch forwards with his bump a bit so we're having some issues where he's basically sliding forward after a little bit uh, on the seat now if he can see there he goes now he's sitting back up again very nice and when he's sitting properly let me tighten the belt a bit we can see that it does have a nice belt path the belt path is nice it's it's being held properly and the shoulder clip is also this is also the middle seat so we have the all the way from the roof the belts coming all the way from the roof so we can see that the the belt clip is doing its job it's holding the shoulder belt uh, on his shoulder yeah on his shoulder um, it's away from his neck can you lean forward for me lean forward and back again so we can see that it, it is also holding when he's leaning though he shouldn't actually be moving or leaning when he's in a booster which is why he travels rear facing at five years old still in a five point harness because he is too young for this device um obviously as i said before in a matter of an emergency i would use this um because he's far safer now because it does actually give the right belt path than without anything at all and then we have some fighting going on in the middle of my film so, so yeah, for um, he's a large five-year-old, and at the moment I'm not liking um, the way that it works on him. Um, but that comes with the age as well. Be uh, a five-year-old in general is really the minimum you want them to be to even use a high back booster. As we can see, he's he's very looking around, fidgeting, uh, and these are normal things for his age, which is why um, he needs to be harnessed. Um, so that's something to take into account if you're looking to buy this seat, because if he's leaning forwards and sideways and looking for things and grabbing for things and not sitting still, then he's not going to make the seat do its job the seat is then the belt is going to go in an un, unposition itself um, and he's going to be at risk so for a child that can't sit perfectly still you definitely want to still use a harness but if you come up on an emergency it's better to have a bubble bum than to not have anything at all so now let's try this nearly seven year old girl in the seat and see how that works because she's very anxious to try it aren't you Caitlin? are you anxious to try the seat? <laughs> apparently not so now we've got Caitlin in the seat she's nearly seven 
in January and we can see quite a difference between her and a five-year-old so we can see the shoulder belt is going nicely over the lap belt is going nice down on her uh, pelvis it's not on her soft abdomen at all so it has a nice belt fit oh, yeah, um, the belt clips are good let me get some light in here the belt clips are good like that and all in all we can also see that her um, she does have the same gap but not in the same degree her shoulders her feet even are actually bending more downwards because she's obviously taller and longer than a five-year-old and she's also quite a tall seven-year-old now if you lean forwards this way thank you and all the way back so we can see that the, the belt is also following her nicely um, so yeah in the car we can see a significant difference between the car and the car seat rack in the house so we'll take a few pictures um, of this in the car <laughs> someone's tired um, in the car as well but again I would rather, I would not use it as a everyday car seat again but it's not it's not um, the description of the seat and all that doesn't actually tell you to use it as an everyday seat it is more of a holiday taxis emergencies um, three across we have a car which is a Citroen Sara Picasso so we have no issues getting three across but in a smaller car where um, where you can't actually get a seat where she is this is um, perfect and for all the children um, Caitlin's age and above I would say six seven preferably seven I think uh, after trying it in the car um, and above it's usable um, in a safe manner if you use it for a child younger than that I would say that it, you would have to um, have very short journeys um, so that they don't become too fidgety and moving around too much um, but yeah so that is our first impression of the seat really